in today's video we're going to look at cisplatin, an important anti-cancer drug and how it functions, and finally we'll look at an exam style question. So I'm sure many of you be very familiar with this molecule here, it's cisplatin, and it contains a central platinum ion surrounded by four ligands, two ammonia and two chloride ligands, and it's a cis isomer because the two heaviest ligands are on the same side. Now, cisplatin is an incredibly useful complex. It's used to treat cancer, and it's so useful that it's given a greater than 90% survival rate in testicular cancer. So how does this complex work to treat cancer? Well, let's have a look at its functions. Cisplatin bonds to DNA, and it bonds to the nitrogen on guanine, one of the nucleotides in DNA. Now, it's the lone pairs of electrons on the nitrogen that allows the nitrogen to form dative covalent or coordinate bonds with the central platinum. So if we have a look at this little diagram, you can see what's happening. Here's our cis-platin complex, and it forms those bonds with the DNA, with the guanine, these G, these nucleotides, and it's actually a ligand substitution reaction. You can see that the guanine is being substituted for these chloride ligands and it's because guanine is a better ligand than the chloride. So we have our cisplatin complex now bound to our DNA and it distorts the DNA and prevents the effective replication. Cisplatin prevents the cells from multiplying and this DNA from copying. And it's that that allows it to act as an effective anti-cancer drug. Tumor cells and cancer cells multiply very, very, very rapidly. And that's what allows them to be so dangerous and the tumors to grow. And if this drug can prevent cell replication, it is very, very useful in the treatment of cancer. Now, whilst it's absolutely fabulous in preventing the growth of tumor cells, Hey guys, to continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level chemistry videos, click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.